Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Academy Life. Uh, breaking off right off the, um, right past the last episode, here we have Pikachu trying to talk to us, Pika P. Yep, and we are going to sleep. I don't feel as uneasy as when I first got in here. I didn't want to think about it, but I think I was really scared of being here all by myself. Being so far away from home, away from everything I grew up with. But I don't have to do this alone anymore. With appointment in here, er, the help with uh, with appointment here with me, I really think I can do this. That's amazing. The story in this is actually so far really fun. Pokemon Academy life. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that that why did that jump scare me? Oh, that's so it's really cool. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So was the intro. That was the intro music. Hey, hey. Whoa, Garchomp's gonna be in here. Dragonite, why is Dragonite so evil? Why was that Dragonite so evil? Okay. Is that Charon's team? That's who you talk to with Charon? I get to steal. That's who you get to talk to with Callum? Or is that who I get to talk to with Tierna? Or is it both? Oh, bro, bro, Alessa's here. Bro, okay, okay, okay. Why do they look so clean? Double 1.0. Point four. Oh, I can't wait for this full game's release. I cannot wait for this full game's release. So we skip su Saturday and Sunday. So, I'm guessing that we're going to be skipping weekends, unless there's actually an event planned for it. That was so cool. It's finally the first day of classes. Over the weekend, I've spent most of my time setting up my room, getting used to the campus. Yep. I must say, we kind of spruced up the room a bit. We got two different... Why is my P... Am I on the right side of the room? I better be on the right side of the room. Because I want my PC to be the better one of the two. We got box printer, PC, and then we got... Regular PC that you bought on like eBay. You don't know where you exactly got it from, but like you know, it. I mean it works <laughs> This one doesn't work for much longer. This one the, the one on the left is gonna be gone in about Yeah, this one right here. That's gonna be gone in a week. This one will last you two years Before it blows up <laughs> Over the weekend. Yeah, yeah Relic Hall is surprisingly big. It's not it's got this huge auditorium a student lounge a library I still get lost sometimes, even with the map, but I'm slowly getting used to it. I haven't been able to check out the academy buildings yet. It's been off limits since the school opened its doors, but it's recently been available for students. I'm dying to see who will be in my class. The same chill I felt from when I first got you snuck up on me again. I'm getting goosebumps. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, okay. I like the drip. I like the drip. I like the drip, Brendan, for real. Okay. Ready to get some breakfast before the big day? Okay. Oh, we, we, we got breakfast time? Bro. Uh, bro, is that like our break time, bro? Is that free time? Do I get to talk to whoever I want? Oh, my goodness. We're heading to the main cafeteria. Never skip breakfast. Pika, pika. Oh, can appointment come with us? Some guys in the lobbies. Told me it's against school policy to bring your Pokemon outside the room unless they're in their Pokeball. Or you get permission from the school. So I guess we can bring him as long as he stays in his Pokeball. Pika! Pika! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, chill, bit. chill, bit. chill, chill. It's just a joke. Just a joke, bro. Oh, God. Whoa, or not. What's up with him? <laughs> uh, that voice is coming in every once in a while. He just really doesn't like being to be in his Pokeball. Even if I do manage to get him in, he'll just find one other way to get out. Dude, that's actually pretty dope. It's like he's a rogue Pokemon or something. Sorry, appointment. But you're gonna have to stay in here until I get back. Unless you want to come along in your Pokeball. Pika! Alright, suit yourself. There's some food in my drawer. But don't eat it all at once. We'll be back after class are over. And don't sneak out and follow me. Got that? Pika Pikachu. Pika Pikachu. Yo, we gotta move. Don't want all the good food to get taken before we get there. I'm ready. Let's go. See you later, appointment. Appointment, I'm taking a whole class about your kind. Shut up. 
I don't want to hear nothing, no complaining about Pokeballs. May was waiting for us at the intro. Nope, nope, she's taken. For Brendan, for Brendan, my guy. Do it for, we do it for Brendan. Roll the dice. I got a six and a one. Roll it again. I got a three and a two. Okay. I didn't get to see her much over the weekend, but if Brendan and I had run the same type of errands, I wasn't planning a third wheeling the whole time. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Speaking of third wheeling, I still haven't met her roommate, Leaf. Wait, what does that have to do with third wheeling? Hopefully, we'll bump into her today on the way to class. She can't possibly skip the first day of class, right? Contacts updated. What does that mean? Did something... Did we get May's contact? I mean, my school in Palo didn't even have a cafeteria. Oh, what? What? What was you eating? Grass, bro? You were eating pigeon meat? You had to hunt it? You had to hunt for it? Charmander, use flamethrower. Cook him. <laughs> There's a food lined up. There's food lined up with names that I can't even pronounce. That's a good thing. That's a good thing right there. And it's big enough to easily see at least a couple hundred students. There's tons of people here already, but I still see plenty of open seats. Oh, are those? Yeah. Yo, over there, Tierno, Tierno Trevor. Oh, I forgot about Trevor. I'm not going to lie, I forgot he existed. <laughs> I don't know how I remember Tierno and not Trevor. Morning, guys. What's up? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I'm Trevor. The lonely neighborhood nerd. Uh, I need to shut up. I need to stop roasting this guy before he pulls up with a mega charge of Y and wipes my Pikachu off the map. Nah, super effective Thunderbolt. Take him out. Easy. You guys ready for today? Get a good night's sleep? Yeah. Yep. Both Travis and I thought we'd get no sleep, but I passed out, no problem. I thought I was pretty excited last night. I thought I was pretty excited last night, but now it's finally the day. Woo, baby! My soul is lit! Oh, I forgot to give him the voice. Jeno and Trevor are your roommates. They happened to room just a few doors down from me and Brendan, so we bumped into each other a few times over the weekend. Okay, that's cool. We still get to talk to him, even though we're not roommates. So I'm guessing it's the other way around. You'd be bumping into Ru uh, Brendan. And maybe Trevor rooms with Brendan? Maybe? I mean, it sounds like it's fair, I guess. They probably know each other. Well, now they do, at least. From what I've gathered, Tierno's a huge fan of music and dance, while Trevor is more of an outdoorsy type. They're both from Carlos region, and it's cool how two very different people have been great friends for such a, a long time. Oh, wait, Leaf. <laughs> you never got to meet her once, did you? Yeah, what's with that? We had so many chances to hang out, and she, we still don't even know what she looks like. Least interesting one. Even I can barely get to see her. She keeps a busy schedule. A little too busy, I think. But I swear she does exist. <laughs> um, May? The PTSD is kicking in. No, I'm just kidding. Uh... Oh, I was going to ask earlier, ask earlier, but I forgot. What type of electives did you pick, Pinch? Grass and electric. Aw, oh, too bad. I picked firefighting. Oh, she's going to get Blaziken. Wait, then what grass ground? Firefight. No, whatever. I'm actually surprised Brenda didn't pick one of those himself. I think we both go a little insane if we're in the same class. You're not wrong. Oh, boom. <laughs> I also picked electric as an elective, so it'll be awesome seeing you around. Let's reserve seats for each other, yeah? Both grass and electric, huh? Oh, this might be interesting. Don't worry, I'll keep him company in here. I'll keep him company in there. That's not what, that's not what, okay. I'll leave him in your kit. Wait a minute, what were you about to say about those electives? What were you about to say? Did I just pick the god electives? Like, it's like the champion always picks these electives. Or is it gonna be like, both these teachers hate children. They just want them all to die. They hate black people. <laughs> Don't look at me instantly, family. Uh-oh. Anyway, I think it's amazing. There are so many Pokemon types to choose from. And by only picking two, you never know who's gonna end up in one of your classes. I can't say it enough. It's just so exciting this way. May really enjoys the unpredictable. May really enjoys the unpredictable. It's how she ended up rooming with Leaf after all. 
Did you know that your type preferences can be tied to your personality? Oh no, he's a BuzzFeed. <laughs> he spends all his time on BuzzFeed. May's preference for fire type can mean that she has a lot of inner strength and can be very excitable. Her preference for fighting can mean that she is generally very active and won't back down from her ambitions. Why does it sound like compliments all around? I guess that reasoning works too, but I mostly chose firefighting because I really like Torchic's evolutionary line. I knew it, bro. I knew it. This is cool. I never heard about this before. What are your thoughts on pinches? I was about to say, what are mine, bro? You're trash. Grass type means you're trash. I like to type means you ass. <laughs> Go touch some grass. Those are with the preference for grass type Pokemon. To me that they prefer to take things naturally. Or in other words, go with the flow of nature. Yep, that's definitely me and Brendan. It's tough to keep those who love nature indoors as they tend to lead active lifestyle. Yeah, that's why I don't get much time for recording, fun fact, guys. I'm outside way too lot, often. For electric preferences, the first trait involves proactiveness. You and you can consider electric type trainers the ones who show the most reactions to different ideas and concepts. The second involves energy, and these individuals are, excuse the pun, walking spark plugs. I boost everyone's energy. You dang right, Trevor. You're right, Trevor. Yes, you are right, my guy. Ugh, I got water in my eye again. I can't take a sip of water without hurting myself. <laughs> That's so cool. What about you, Trevor? I think we're loitering around here a bit too long. He said, nah, man, this pit, this boy picked water uh, electric, bro. In me, he liked to dance. He went to electrocute the fishes, bro. He crazy. <laughs> Let us talk about it on the way into the cafeteria. Sounds like a plan. Let's go, then. All right. Context updated. It's clear we're not the only ones who are anxious. There are tons of other students here running around in the frenzy. Some with their breakfast still dangling it from their mouth. Bro, they ate a whole, like... Wait, are we eating Pokemon? Can I eat Magikarp? I want to eat a Dragonite. That's, that says Cobacon Academy right there. I can read Unknown. It's rather easy, actually. <clears throat> ah, wow, this area of the campus is amazing. I'll look up and see the symbols and bolt embossed on the facade. Cobalt Academy. Oh well, Pinch can read it too. Good. <laughs> Supposedly, this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe the condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. They take very good care of it. Then I'm having a difficult time imagining what. Imagine that this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining. I'm just excited to be here. First thing on the agenda is to check the homeroom assignments. Right, guys? Bro, they ditched me, didn't they? They all ditched me, bro. They all ditched me. I was so demon that I didn't realize I'm alone. <laughs> that's that's kind of sad to hear. Hold up. Maybe I walked too fast, or maybe they ditched. Maybe they was walking too fast. Why did I open up the calculator, bro? That wasn't meant to be opened. And whatever, I need to get inside and check the homeroom assignments. Oh my god! Weird. I don't see the others. You figure two big guys like Brendan and Tierno would be hard to miss. Yeah, they probably would be, really. The cluster of students gathered it by bulletin board. That must be the homeroom list. Oat, Birch, Oak, Sycamore, and Willow. Wait, Willow? Like, from Pokemon Go? Wait, is he named Willow in Pokemon Go? Am I stupid for saying that? I don't remember. I really don't remember. I'm so sorry if I sounded stupid saying that. I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. 1B though, 1B though. B for the best. Uh, so we're in Professor Oaks. I quickly scanned through Professor Oaks' list. I immediately spelled my name at the bottom. You know what, that's just like real life. My last name is so far about, like down into the alphabet. My name was always at the bottom of the list, bro. There were so many get to the back of the line jokes, bro. 
Back of the Bus King. Uh, well, I can't say I'm surprised. It's also <laughs> in a different font. Like, it was last minute act like addition to Oak's class. It probably was. The other ones are in an unreadable language, so. Let's see who else is in my class. Well, well, well. Oh. Oh, no. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time, retard. Um, at least look at me when you're talking to me. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, though, but that's natural. So, which class are you in? Your grandpa is according to Miss. How'd you miss my name? Oh, crap. I just said capitalism up. He gonna say something really condescending like, my name isn't even worth a glance. Bro, you accidentally set somebody up and you realize it too late. Bro, there's, there's no feeling of des depression like that, bro. When you're like, bro, what you mean you're bigger than me? Oh, oh no. Oh no. You just see a smile on their face. They be like, yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna kill you. Or maybe not. Gramps, are you serious? I guess it would be the first, kind of a surprising for both of us to get into the same class. Considering the huge number of students in our year, I wonder if Professor Oak set this up himself. I hope he's not going to be play, playing any favorites this year. He likes me the most. He likes me more than you. Shut up. Nobody loves you, Blue. Why? I thought I told him to. Ah, uh, who cares? Now I have to f a front row seat to watch you bomb in class. Oh, you're all with Professor Oak? That voice. Oh my! I need a drink of water. I'm not thirsty, you're thirsty. Oh, blessing. Great Flaming Moltres. It's that girl. <laughs> I love that. Wow. That really worked. I'm gonna be honest, my finger's been jammed this whole time. I just unjammed it. Straight pulled that thing right into place. That was perfect. Thank you. I needed that. So much. It's still swollen, but I don't care. I sure wish I knew her name so I could offer her more than a feeble handling. A lot of time to see. Did you get lost on the way? Hey, give me a break. I thought we were done with that. Didn't you say you had fun? Uh, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this windbag? Uh, excuse me? Don't interrupt the girl when she's talking to her friend. Yeah, all right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... It's Pinch. Pinch. I, all I gotta do is start doing this with my fingers. Just start pinching. I act like y'all can see me. She leans over and whispers in my ear. She's so close that I can smell a sweet fragrance coming off her. What's your name again? Way too close for comfort. Uh, no, uh, it's Pinch. Uh, yeah, I'm a firm believer in personal space. <laughs> you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> Wait, Pinch? Oh, you're Pinch. You're friends with May, right? You know May? I would hope so, being a roommate and all. Her roommate, you leave. That's my name. My God, you better cut the crap. You're acting so bad and it's pissing me off. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're, we are bad at acting. I'm sorry, capitalism. No, I'm not. I hate you. I hate capitalism. <laughs> I'll say it again. I hate capitalism. Give it a rest, capitalism. I know who Leaf is. I ran to her on our first day. She helped me at a tough spot. We were both... Short on time, so we forgot to introduce ourselves. Like I give a rat a toss, ask what happened. Like, you two have wasted my time enough today. I got plans to go and things to do. Place? Oh, places to go. I'm stupid. I can't read. He's right, bro. I'm a retard. I swear to God. Smell ya. Smell ya. What does that even mean? It's blue. Or as I like to call him, capitalism. Capitalism. I swear to God, I can't read. He said that for as long as I've known him, and I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud of it. So he's been smelling you for a long time. What a creep. No, that's not how that works. No, never mind. <laughs> Let's go, Pinch. We'll be late for our first class. I mean, we're two feet away from the door. Leaf, huh? And capitalism? And me? The same room for the next two hours? Every day for the next year? This is gonna be quite the semester. Yes, it is. I'm gonna love it. Because I love these three characters together. It's the OG3. Hey, Superior! Superior! Superior's right there. Superior's right 
mother in there. I'm sorry, but why does the right side so much better than the left side? Like, if you look at the right side, you realize that every, like, competitive used Pokemon is outdoing the one on the left. Just working together, they're outdoing the one on the left easily. Like, for real. It's kind of bullying, actually. Because uh, Swampert's getting... I mean, obviously, I think Swampert can handle Infernate, but... I mean, A, Superior's wiping him out easily, and Greninja's wiping him out easily. Protean. I mean, Greninja can actually pretty much wipe out all three of those guys pretty easily. And I mean, Superior's only wiping out one of them. I'm sorry, but that Venusaur is soloing you. Uh, unless it in Power Fire Leaf Storm gets lucky, critical hit, I don't know. Infernape, you can take down, you can take down the, the, uh, uh, Whatever. I don't even care anymore. I'm not trying to remember names. I know their names, but I'm not trying to deal with it. <laughs> Following Leaf, we entered the ho our homeroom, 1B. And damn, this place rivals royalty. I feel crazy out of place. Matching everything else on campus, the classroom is big, like really big. And chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. I don't even want to think about how much those cost. Along with the marble walls... I see some paintings of Pokemon that I recognize from books and TV shows. I wonder if I'll be able to see any of them here. I want to see a Snivy. I want a Superior. Like, really badly. May, I can't believe we're in the same homeroom. She's in here too? Small world. I see you and Lee finally got acquainted. May, do you remember the guy I told you about the first time when we first met <laughs> for our room match? Turns out you knew him all along. Oh, Pansy ran into, uh, ran ahead without, wait, what? Oh, Pinch. Since you ran ahead of, of us without a, oh, blah, blah. I'm skipping this one. Y'all read it. Y'all read it yourselves. That's okay. A strong sense of adventure is a good thing. I'll never be able to live this down, will I? Oh, boy. Stranded in the forbidden territory of the terrible senior girls. Sensing impending doom. He picked his poison and sought refuge in the abyssal bathroom of the fair sex. It was the be it was then a beautiful maiden. A girl knew nothing he knew nothing about. Happened to stumble upon him at the right time, pulling him into the light and guiding him to his sanctuary. Thank you for the epic summary. And you're the one that forced me into the bathroom. I like the window idea. Leave before the curtsy in response. I swear to god, I love her. She's fucking hilarious. She's so unbelievably smug. She matches me perfectly in real life. Like, that's my energy. Since you're here, May, I'm assuming Brendan's in another class. Brendan's in class 1A next door in Birch's class. You should tell your father, May, that his recent, recent article regarding the pros and cons of invasive bug Pokemon as biological control has been well received. I'm impressed. Professor. Oh, well, oh, Pinch, great to see you. Wait, oh, Pinch, great to see you. That you said in, uh, in nicely here. I guess Dad's, I mean, I guess Dad's work in the fields has been paying off for the last couple of years. If it's not a swarm of Beedrill chasing him around, it'd be Ariados or the occasional Scyther. Ah, are you well-versed in bug-type Pokemon, me? I assume you've gained a lot of experience while assisting with your father's work. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm not too interested in bugs, bug types to begin with. Seems May knows Professor Oak through her father. I wonder how many how many more students know the staff through personal connections. I see. So what Pokemon types? I'm, I don't care anymore. <laughs> what will the three you be focusing on this year? Firefighting, grass. There's no way. There's no way. I knew it would be grass, but why electric? I don't understand. Wait, why would she pick electric? That doesn't make sense. Why would she pick electric type? Like, she... Like, Leaf is in the name, but in the manga, she uses a Blastoise. So I would have guessed, I would have guessed, like, grass water. And I may have picked electric to beat water. No, I'm just kidding. I picked electric because of Pikachu. But, like... I'm I'm confused on this one now, but you know I'm fine with it. I I'm 
I'll stay happily confused. I'll stay happily confused. Swear. Excellent choices all around. Well, I hope you, all of you are ready. The bell will ring soon. So go ahead and find yourselves a seat. Let's sit together, man. Sorry, Pinch. But since the stars align, <laughs> we'll see each other in both of our elective classes. We'll all have plenty of time to bond later. So, what do you think of Link? They absolutely charming. <laughs> She's a lot of fun to be around. Come sit by us. <sighs> Welp. Oh, no. He's gonna be like... Hey yo, so guys, y'all got 38 things of homework. Like 39 pages. When I said 30, yeah, I said 38 things. As in, you need to write, do 38 things for all 39 pages, bro. You're trash. I'm like, no. Nah! I will cry. I will actually cry if I have to start doing homework in this game. Good morning, and welcome to your first class at Cobacon Academy. I'll be your teacher for this homeroom. You can call me Yoke, but most people simply call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. I think we can skip this part. You're all smart enough to know what Pokemon are. I can't believe we're hearing Professor Oak talk right in front of us. These men are legends. Over eager, gossipy female. I know. My dad's a huge fan of his. He's got all his encyclopedias A to Z. Oh man, he's gonna flip when I tell him this. I'm in his class. Even outside Kanto, everyone tells him I don't want to. I don't know if he was looked up to by so many people. He's like a superhero to them. But I mean, he's just my neighbor. <laughs> he's just my neighbor. Now, something you need to know about my class is that it's extremely difficult. Last year, almost half of the class failed. What? That's crazy. Oh crap. <laughs> All of a sudden, I don't feel like being in this class anymore. <laughs> yes, this class is challenging. But if you put put in the work and keep at your studies, you should pass with flying colors. My job is not to assign you failing grades, but my job is not to coddle you either. My job is to make sure you graduate from the school with the knowledge and skills to excel in the Pokemon world. Which brings me to the next point. As all you know, Copacon is a very selective school and demands you to give your best at all times or you will su be surpassed by your peers. The graduation rate for the school is roughly 30%. It is not for the weak... 30%? Wait a minute. Th 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 did he say 30%? Like, 30 out of 10? 7 out of 10 of us will fail. Me, Leaf, and May are in this class. Sorry, but 7 other people are going to have to bite the dust. Because I'm not failing, and I'm not letting them fail. I'll let them cheat off my paper. Blue, I'm not letting you cheat. I hope you become one of the seven. Excuse me, capitalism. I hope you fail. <laughs> I hope capitalism fails. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love that nickname. You gotta be kidding me. Is this a joke? What kind of school life is this? I wasn't hearing things. I turn to look at May. Her mouth is hung open in disbelief. Leaf looks frozen and shocked too. On the other side, Capitalism is leaning back in his chair with that same smug look in his face. Mm, I want to punch him so bad. He has the most punchable face. Swear. Like, swear this kid has the most punchable face. <clears throat> yes, I would just want to make that clear to you, stupids. Now, are any of you <laughs> interested in competing in the Pokemon League after you graduate? Just by a show of hands. A few dozen hands shoot up. Capitalism has his hand way up there. And it's no surprise. My hand sh should be up there. Take a good look around. Now everybody in the two middle sections. Put your hands down. There are fewer than ten students left with their hands raised. I think I know where this is going. He's going to be like. That's going to be the number of people that pass. And Blue's going to be like. Why did I have to put my hand down? Because you suck. I don't even remember your name. That's the percentage of those who actually qualify for the Pokemon League. And it is even less of for those who can make it there. Oh, dear God. That's... That's crazy. I didn't realize the Pokemon League. Well, actually, that makes so much sense. Think about it. Why are you the only one that's challenging the Pokemon League? Because you're the only one that qualified, bro. You're the only one that got all eight badges, bro. Other than blue. Other people weren't educated enough. 
They didn't know how to stop their Pokemon from dying from an Orn. They could use an Orn Berry, but no, they were like, bro, let's use a Petra Berry. They healed their Pokemon with poison when they needed to heal it from something else. Uh, random dice roll. Alright, they both fell off the table. I got a six and a two. Pretty lucky, I guess. Yes, did you have a question? Huh. I'm just going to say this right now for all you quitters in this room. I'm getting to the Pokemon League, and there's no chance in hell that I'm not. God, why does he always have to be like this? It's, it's, it hasn't even been 10 minutes in the class it started, and he's already trying to start something. He tries so hard to be cool and fails so hard that it's sickening. I'm not stopping until I wipe the floor with every single regional Pokemon League champion. You're looking at the next world champion. Please sit down. Aram, what was your name again? What, Gramps, it's me. Yes, I know it's you, but what was, it's capitalism. Oh, let's go. We just, we just humiliated it. Nicknamed capitalism. Literally nobody likes you. All right, that's right. Anyway, sit down. Man, what a load of, I can't believe capitalism shoots me an icy glare. Guess what? I don't, I'm that scary ice tape Pokemon, you stupid freak. Actually, I probably should be. I'm using grass. <laughs> Uh, uh oh. I just grin and give him a thumbs up. <laughs> I love him. It just made him matter. I'm liking this class already. Let's go. I love this class. I love this class so much. I'm so glad I get to roast him every day now. He tried to. I flipped the script on this idiot. He said, Hold on. You think I'm making buddy you? Nah, nah. Bro, I'm gonna bully you. I'm gonna bully you, Blue. I'm gonna bully capitalism. Right then. I think that's enough talking. I'll take roll now while you're all in a good mood. May. Is May here? Present. There you are. Hilbert. Um. Oh, I forgot. It's not Black. It's Hilbert and Hilda. Um. Here. Whitney. Here. Here. Oh, she's just uh, absent on the first day. Why? Bro, swear to God, if jiggle physics were a thing in this game. That was a really dramatic entrance, and she's posing like she just finished an acrobatic stunt at the Pokeathlon. Here I am. I'm not late. I was just waiting for the perfect time to make my grand entrance. She, that, that's some, that's a personality that you, everyone needs in their friend group. The one that's like, I'm not late. I was just making a grand entrance, bro. Swear. She calmly sits down in an empty chair in front of me. Like, nothing happened. I have to say I'm impressed with your ability to keep a straight face after that performance. Please continue. All right, I'll mark you on time, but no more of that. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You can count on me. Very good, Flannery. I'm here. Oh, her hair's all janky, bro. <laughs> janky, bro. Look at me. I'm sorry. Please don't beat me up. She looked like she could manhandle me. She looked like she suplexed me for a daily, like daily exercise, bro. She looked like she break my my skinny little twig bones, bro. I could fight in real life, but I'm not sure about Pinch, bro. He might actually die. Sorry, I'm not a big fan of morning fan or not. Try to get to class on time from now on. I'll mark you on time too. Yeah, okay. Clay collapses into a chain next for me. Looking at her from up close, she seems kind of intimidating. Her hair and her face reminds me of some of those biker gang chicks I see on TV. Yeah, for real, actually. I think so. I think the dress looks like it got on fly. What are you talking about? She doesn't look good. Maybe I should say something to her. You know what? Only because this... Nobody likes being asked this. Rough morning, huh? It's like, not nah, dip, Sherlock. Nah, it's not like I just showed up to class late on the first day, you stupid me. Like, you stupid me head, bro. Like, obviously nobody likes me and asks this question. If you just say nothing, bro, she's gonna be like, why are you staring at me? Bro, you weird, bro. That's gonna cause a scene and I'm gonna get embarrassed. But once some coffee, then it's just like, hey, I'm just trying to be nice. And I'm gonna be honest, if someone offered me coffee in the morning, bro, me and you are friends. Me and you are friends, I tell you that much. Hey, you need some coffee? I picked up some early this morning. She whips her head towards me and scowls. I'm not sure what I said. Oh my god, she's like, I don't like coffee. It's a liquid. I like fire types. Is that a no? Do I look like a charity case to you? No, you really look tired, so I thought you thought what? You thought I want your handouts? 
why don't you take a copy of yours and shove it up your chill out player? I'm sure he, he didn't mean anything by it. Finally, a voice of reason. It's the first day. You should keep it a, a little on the DL, girl. <clears throat> Jesus, Flannery. You don't have to ease up on Flannery. She's a little rough around the edges in the morning. A little? No, I understand. Morning isn't exactly my favorite time of day either, Mindy, because of Flannery. No. Nah. <laughs> we were almost late because Flan slept through all of her alarm clocks. They don't work with me. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I think it's because you snore louder than the clocks. I do not snore. What are you smirking at? I don't snore, you hear me? I believe you. So why are you you're with me and you're flannery? I'll pinch. Nice to meet you, pinch. Keep it down back there. Oh, my bad. I forgot we talking in class. And with that, my first homeroom class quickly passes and comes to an end. What a dozy, a doozy of a start. I hope I can get used to doing this every day. I'm going to take a sip of water, bro. That's way too much. And once again, I'm not thirsty. You're thirsty for Flannery. I ain't never thirsty. But now it's on to my elective class. Looks like I have a grass type up first. Hey. Well, this class is way bigger than anything we had in Palatown. So this is what a privately funded classroom looks like. <laughs> I wonder if I could find some people I know in here. I see Lee from Brendan sitting on opposite sides of the classroom. They're both looking at me like they want me to come sit next to them. What? Bro, no. I thought I was going to be able to choose between Leaf or Brendan. I was honestly going to be like, I might have to go with Brendan. Just because he's a homie. Good day, Sprouts. Oh, no. Well, he looks really old, bro. He's going to break his spine trying to get onto the podium, bro. That's our teacher. Is he okay to be... Is he going to be okay? He's slowly shuffling his way to the front and his legs. Look like they're going to give out any second. Welcome to Grass Elective class. I'm your teacher, Ramos the name. Before I begin, let me... Oh, horse apples. I forgot the dang attendance sheet. Oh, no. I'll be right back, bro. The whole class is going to be him getting that attendance sheet, I bet. Weird to think that such a rigorous school would have someone like him as a teacher. Hey, he'll body the mess out of me. What am I talking about? I take this time to stretch my arms a bit. Whoops, knocked over a pencil. Holy, what a dive. Bro, Gardenia with the dives. Bro, wait a minute. You're not a water type trainer. How did you dive? The girl was sitting two seats behind me. Did she not get carpet burn? I really hope she didn't get carpet burn. I'd actually feel bad. Uh, how did she react that fast? I didn't even get the glance in the direction my pencil was heading. That was a nice catch. Thanks, but it was nothing. No, I'm serious. Your reaction time is insane. I barely reacted myself. Really? You're training for the Pokemon League, aren't you? That really isn't all that impressive. Oh, oh. Uh, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. It's okay if your reflexes are a bit slow. There are plenty of other things to worry about in big leagues anyway. You don't have to go and say, Oh, my name's Gardenia. What's your... I'm uh, Pinch. <laughs> nice to meet you, Pinch. Oh, Robins is coming back. Gardenia nimbly goes back, or more like jumps back into her seat. He'd be like, aw, oh, dang, Nabbit, need a pencil now. And he'd back, that really took a while. But judging by how fast he moves, that's to be expected. Oh, sorry about the, the, the la delay, Sprouts. He calls us Sprouts. Now, where was I? <laughs> Bro, it was all the class. His whole class period was just him going to get the dang attendance sheet. Oh, shuckles. Looks like we ain't got no time left, I reckon. You shouldn't keep your life. I reckon I shouldn't keep you here longer than I have to. Class dismissed. You're all running along now. That took a little longer than expected. Is this the first? It is the first class though. So it's probably stop. It'll probably stop feeling like that once we get into a groove. Next is gym class. Weird. I don't remember getting any gym uniforms in the mail or anything. Maybe it's one of those battle simulation things. 
Hey, hey, hey. So this is the gymnasium. I wonder if it's an official gym uh, sanctioned by the Pokemon League. It probably is. Look at it. It looks pretty good. Most likely not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> not mention the brochure or the property. I think it's safe to assume it's simply yet another fancy room in the Academy's collection. Though, other than some old banners lining the walls, this place is barren compared to the others. Well, yeah, you don't want stuff to get destroyed. Wait, hold on. What are the actual names? MVP Season 1. Rowan? Like, the professor? Season 3 MVP. Oak? Season 4 MVP. Agatha? Season 6? Drayden? Season... What is that? Nine? Or something? I can't tell. Uh, whatever. It's Watson. It says Watson, right? And then it's Alder. I think Alder got two in a row. Champ. 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 There. They always say Champ. I get the once again. Drayden. That may be Drayden. Watson. Lorelai. That's not Watson right there. Never mind. That's Cynthia, though. Steven and Lance. So Lance is the most recent champion. However, if it really is like the official gems, then that means Pokemon battles might take place here. I see Brendan, May, and Leaf sitting down talking about something. Trevor and Tiana are there, too. <laughs> They're just there. You know, this is the most epic group. I'm so glad I picked these guys to go first. I'm not sure what they're discussing, but it sounds fun. With all of them together like that, they re they really make the the room seem a lot livelier. I see Mr. over there sitting to the side too. Hopefully she's feeling a little bit better since I last saw her. <laughs> Speaking of fun and liveliness, this is a huge class. I'm pleased I can recognize a few faces now. Hey, we got three out of the uh, five. Well, we recognize Sabrina whenever she uh, used ESP. Freaking love Sabrina. Why is Skyla here? Bro, she's still dressed like that. <coughs> oh my god. Whoa, I got thirsty for a second there, bro. Let me get some water. I mean, you're thirsty. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the other side, I see capitalism leaning back into his seat. It's kind of weird seeing him sitting alone like that. You know, a guy like him would try and surround himself with as many friends as possible by now. I refuse to end up like him over there. I'm going to go sit by Brendan and the others. Exactly. Because we got friends. Whoa, whoa. Bruno, calm down. That is, that, that is, yeah, that has to be Bruno. Yes, right. Settle down. Are these guys our teachers? The guy on the left definitely looks like one, but the guy looks, but the other guy looks like one of those mountain hermits you hear. Listen, the one on the right would thrash the one on the left. Calm down, bro. Welcome to the gym class. I'm Elder, and he's Bruno. Let's see, Elder. We'll be your instructors for this year. Now, I bet you're all wondering what you'll actually be doing in this class. Well, it'll be just like the other gym classes you've probably taken in the other schools. Except we're not going to make you change into shorts and play sports. In this goal, we focus more on training Pokemon, not your bodies. Well, I mean, you still have to train your body, like... But training your body is important, too. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, hold on. Oh, I had to take another sip of water there. Kind of got hurt for a second. <clears throat> anyway, the real reason why this school has a gym class like this is to prepare you kids for the real Pokemon gyms after you graduate. At least those interested in tackling the league. Can any of you tell me why gyms exist in the first place? Gyms were created to weed out the skilled trainers from the mediocre trainers. If we didn't have gyms, there'd be thousands of buffoons running around doing whatever they please. Or perhaps at least limit the number of people that think they're good enough. They'd make good, uh, make good Pokemon trainers. Unfortunately, 
I don't think gyms stop anyone from doing that. Right. Very good guesses. <laughs> but all wrong. You will suck. <laughs> but the main purpose of the goal of the gym is to allow trainers who are less experienced to test their skills against more experienced ones on even footing. And that is what we're going to be doing in this class. Wait, you're telling us we're going to be Pokemon battling in this class? Precisely. Though we won't be diving into that right away. First, we need to review the basics. You're all so busy trying to learn new things that sometimes you forget the most rudimentary skills. What are you going to teach us? I catch Pokemon or something? Yes, that's a very important part of the curriculum. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh! No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even if some of you think that you have everything you need to know about Pokemon battling, trust me when I say you don't. You suck. I can beat all of you with one Pokemon working together. I reflectively glance over at Capitalism. I expected he seems a bit irked by what all this is. I hope he doesn't make a scene like he did in the homeroom. Oh, excuse me for rambling on like that. Uh, Bruno, why don't you tell him more about the class? Very well. This gym was the first. No, this gym was first and foremost designed to be a training ground for students. And as such, it is available for free use after class hours. Just bring your student ID and receive unlimited access to its facilities. In addition to the exercise machines available, the gym also contains several battle simulators to allow students to experience what a live Pokemon match would feel like in real life. Excuse me, simulators? So you're saying there won't be any live Pokemon matches here? Live matches? You can hold battles here if you wish, but most take place in Battle Hall. Hmm. Unfortunately, unless you're in the school's competitive battling team, you will not be allowed access into that. Okay, I have to be on the battle team. Okay, there's a battle team. Hey, hey, I'm about to be on the battle team. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, oh, man, calm down. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Uh, sounds like something right up capitalism alley. What's the battle team about? Our school has a competitive battling team for students who wish to take their Pokemon training to the next level. So it's like a sport. It's like varsity, basically. I swear to God. It's a very selective club, so don't think about signing up so quickly. Oh, yeah? What does it take to get in there? Even after you've joined, mock battles between club members take place daily to determine whether or not you're fit to remain on the team. Huh, that's easy. Be careful of what you say. Arrogance and strength do not go hand in hand. Mmm. Facts, guys. Facts. Arrogance does not lead to strength. Confidence leads to strength. Confidence is being confident in what you have. Arrogance is being confident in what you don't have. That's how I do it. I'm telling you, it'll be a piece of cake. Who's in charge of the team? I am. Oh, my. Ew. Yeah. Uh, I don't like you. I don't like Lance. No, I'm just kidding. Lance is dope. But to be honest, he's not one of my favorite champions. Like, I'm not, uh, uh, his get up, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's the clothes for me. Like, my guy is, he's way too drippy to, right now, bro. What, I can't even talk trash on him. Let me shut the, let me just shut up. Wait, who is this guy? He looked familiar. I can't remember exactly what he from. Maybe on TV, just uh, by looking at him. I'm sure anyone can tell this guy is really important. Capitalism shall watch his tone of voice around him. Being accepted to the battle team is one of the highest honors a student can receive in this school. It is not to be taken lightly. Lance, how long have you been standing here? I was just passing by. It's been a while, Bruno, all day. Ha, huh, it has indeed. Oh, where are my manners, students? This is Lance, the advisor of the battle team. Pleased to meet you all. So, there are, so these are the new students that just came in. They look quite capable. I expect great things for all of you. When I was a freshman in this school, I... Hey, you're the guy running the bouts. Oh my goodness, Blue. Oh my goodness. Capitalism always getting in the way, bro. Yes. And you should head to the... Heed the advice of Alder and Bruno. For someone currently at your level, it'd be impossible to get in. Oh, I know that one hurt. What did you say? Here we go. Just because you're an upperclassman doesn't mean you can look down on me. I'm not an upperclassman. Nor am I looking down on you. I'm simply stating the facts. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. I have a business to attend to, and I cannot be late. All right. All right. It was good seeing you, Lance. Likewise. Take care, Alder. 
Bruno, is this guy really just gonna walk away without saying anything? Yes, he did. I love this guy. I love Lance. He's hilarious, bro. I love him. Amazing character. Just, just basically using words alone, he basically just backhanded like capitalism across the face. He straight up fought capitalism word for word. I glanced at him. I know how seriously capitalism takes his pride, so that must have done a number on him. But he has to learn to take it easy one of these days. You heard him. The battle team is serious business. After all, it wasn't luck that our student, that our school has produced the most world championships, elite four members, and holds the most records, most wins at the national tournaments. So I, I had to do it for dramatic effect, not because I suck at reading, I promise. Just once. Rolling of the dice. I got a six and a five. Yep, six and a five. <laughs> you heard right. The top students represent Cobra Khan Academy. I swear this jammed pinky does not help. It, I mean, it's not that jammed anymore. It's just swollen. Uh, and face off against other students from other schools during the Pokemon League season. Oh my gosh. That sounds so cool. Oh my goodness, Shauna. Shauna's gonna be a blessing to nobody's ears. I think I'd fate from stage fright if I had to do something like that in front of all those people. I, you do know that you have to get on the team first to even consider doing something like that, right? But anyway, you shouldn't worry about things like that. There are plenty more important things to take care of. After all, let's, it's like graduating on time. <laughs> Hmm, I suppose we can move on to the weight machines. Bruno, would you mind giving the students a little demo? Not at all. After 30 minutes of watching Bruno go through every machine without breaking a sweat, I realized that maybe I should look after my body a bit more. I haven't really been taking the greatest care of my body, but seeing how much stuff there is in the gym makes me think that now would be a great time to start. Hey, it's always a good time to start. Okay, that's enough for one day, students. Next class, we'll talk about the basis of Pokemon battling and how to deal with Pokemon in the wild. It'll be a review, so but don't underestimate the intricacies of the basics. Right, we'll see. Well, well then. So long, students. Enjoy the rest of your day. Next on my schedule is lunch. Bro, we haven't even gone through one day. And this episode's already about an hour long, bro. Well, well, we'll make it an hour long. I'll make it an hour long just for y'all. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I lied. Nope, we're gonna need today's episode right now. Okay. Oof, that was a long, hefty episode. I was having way too much fun to stop. So, if you liked today's episode, feel free to give your boy a like and a subscribe. Comment if you want. I'll comment back. If I can, I'll probably do it. I'll probably call it back. But hey, I'll see y'all in the next one. Ciao.